What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Dear Me for Dinner. I'm with my great bros, Tristan, Brandon, and Jake. We are here in the Exuma Keys, staying at Lazy Bay Cottages. Yesterday morning, we jumped on Staniel Air, flew over here, and we have been having a blast. All right, you guys, there's a rock right here. I'm just gonna jump in real quick, check it. If there's fish here, we're gonna jump in and get them. No more up. All right, you guys jumped in, checked one spot real quick. Got a nice Bahamian silver snapper. I don't know what it's actually, what it actually is, but that's what they call it is a silver snapper. And uh, gonna move on to the next spot. And they made a long run. We were able to find them, get another shaft into a great eating fish, great sashimi.
one shot. I got my boy Bernard here. Y'all been asking about him. You got to see him in action. Mm. You like to eat those? Oh, they're lovely. Yeah? Tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> We've been out here having just an absolutely amazing day with Brandon, uh, Jake, Tristan, all their camera guys, and his sweet girlfriend, Kendall, and Kinsey. It's been an amazing day. We got a bunch of fresh seafood. Now we're heading back to Stangle Key. We're gonna clean them up and cook something epic for dinner. Hey, good job, brother. You guys, look at that. That is a monster, monster Florida lobster. But we're in the Bahamas, so we're gonna call it a crawfish. And I'm gonna show you guys a brand new way that I actually just thought about to clean a lobster. Check this out. This is what we're gonna do. Start up top here, nothing new. We're gonna cut that way, just like that. Then come this way, start here, and cut right there. Roll it over, just like there. We're gonna cut it. Here. Then we're gonna break that loose like that. Now those two things are still connected. We're gonna clean that all out. Look at that. Now you have all of your leg meat, all of your tail meat. Take your knife, start right in the top of the of the tail. And be careful, this is not the right knife to do this, but I'll make it work. Cut just like that. How do you think that's gonna taste on the grill? Better than any other lobster I've ever had. Dude. <laughs> Better than any other one. Sir. I wanna tell you guys, I've done a handful of collaborations, only a handful. Yeah. But the only one I've ever done that I was amazed by was yours. Oh, so for all 
the Jiggin' with Jordan fans out there that came over and checked out Deer Meat for Dinner and became a part of my channel, man. That's awesome. I want to say thank you. Hey, thank you. You're awesome. That's still one of my favorite videos to this day. When people ask me about the underwater footage, I show them the stuff we did together. Yeah. yeah it's some of the most epic stuff we've ever got. I mean, today might have topped it. I got to go look at it, but it was pretty sick, man. Well, if you guys have never seen Jiggin' with Jordan, this is Brandon Jay. He's an awesome guy, and it's an honor to have you down in my backyard. Thank you so much, man. Are right, you guys, so there it is. I mean, look how big that tail is. Literally, that tail is probably a pound or a pound and a half put all your, on sound. Put your hand up to it, bro. Like, oh my gosh. And you I got a fairly large hand. You won't get anything like that from Red Lobster, let's just say that. Negative. Guaranteed you're not getting anything that fresh. Little Everglades cactus dust. Little Everglades original. Then, we got this. We got some homemade garlic butter. We're just gonna dab that on there just to let it start falling in love. <laughs> I mean, imagine like going on that special date when you were in high school and you were all excited and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm about to do this. That's how this butter and lobster feel right now. They're just like, this is actually happening. Let's do it. We're gonna go face down. Make sure, make sure that's getting a good contact just like that and close the lid. When you close that lid, all the heat's gonna start working around it and because the shell is like this, it'll create a steam. Boom! I can't wait for this to be off the grill because everything that I've eaten from this guy just melts in your mouth. Like the other day, I wasn't filming this, but on, on Deer Meat's channel, he kills a hog. Less than an hour, we drag it out of the woods. And 30 minutes later, that hog is on the dinner table with an amazing meal that he just literally pulled. We have a term for that. I don't we even, have a term for that. What do you call that? Like Catch, clean, and cook. Exactly. So this has only been cooking for maybe two and a half, three minutes. Not long. See that? See how these legs are starting to get red? That's what I'm talking about. Now, once that starts to happen, now this is where we want to get heavy with that garlic and butter and just let it just start happening for real. It's gonna cook from the bottom up, steam in its own juices. That garlic butter is gonna percolate down through <laughs> that meat and it's gonna be like, mm. so People one, are just gonna be drooling everywhere. One of, one of your videos. All right, you guys, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at that. That is just some beautiful love and goodness right there. <laughs> Take that lobster, throw it on there, whammy. Take your fork, go right in there, pop it. Ooh, my, oh my gosh. That lobster is just, yeah, you're gonna have to try that out for yourself. Watch this meat. Look at that meat. That's, oh my gosh. look at it all. Look at it all. Then, then, hold on. Whoa, but wait, there's more. I've been more. waiting. For only $5.99, you too can have lobster just like this. Throw it right in there. <laughs> Throw it inside where that butter was. Let it just, let it just marinate. <laughs> you guys just reach in there and grab you out a piece of that love and goodness. Oh, oh my God, when you said peace, you mean. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'll just, take you know what, piece. I'm not ashamed. Oh my oh, God. already went in. Oh, oh she was a big piece. Oh, are we going? I wish I didn't miss so many lobster today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have more of this. Oh my gosh. This is great. Wow. 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 You know what? I'm okay. just gonna hold it. Okay, this for one you. word. <laughs> Jake, one word. How do you explain it? One word. Today. The whole thing. Uh, the whole day. <laughs> like, one word. Oh, amazing. I don't know. <laughs> Brandon. Oh, go Superior. Superior. Or Gioso. <laughs> What? Gorgioso. It's like gorgeous and delicioso. Liberating. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's your teammate, dude. That's your teammate. Perfect. Dude. <laughs> hey, that was a guy. I didn't even think about that word. <laughs> what did I say? You put me on the spot. Right. Hey. I don't know what you said. <laughs> hey, your favorite moment of today, other than this? Uh, Jake being, always. Just being here, man. Hold I don't on, know. Just... After every trip, this is never filmed, but Jake always asks us, like, Tristan, what's your favorite part of this trip? And I'm like, crap, Jake, you just put me on the spot. So Jake, 
What's what is your favorite spot from this from today? Favorite spot? Uh, favorite favorite thing of today. You know, other than just being with y'all, just oh. waking up in the morning and then realizing I'm like still here. It's like, yeah, Whoa, yeah, it wasn't was a dream. Cool. Okay, no. what about you, B? I gotta say, my favorite was when me me and Tristan were on the tea top of the boat, oh. holding on, listening to music, <laughs> jamming out. We look at each over on the tea top. We keep riding. It's blue water. I see y'all's boat splashing, making waves. It was just like the life, man. Favorite moment. Favorite moment. Is your question? Dang it! That, that <laughs> what, what Brandon said was riding the boat on the side. That was just—it's just so freeing, like being out there. But being in the water with everybody, all in search to find dinner, basically. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And every every release of the spear was something on the dinner table. So that's to be able to feed ourselves today is a that's really cool. cool experience. That's pretty epic. Um, Saturday, I flew out to Denver and spent the day with like, like one of the bravest, yeah. most awesome young men. Caden, I love you. <clears throat> Caden's goal every day is to wake up. So this video is dedicated to you. And we gone. Thank you.